Well, first on Fox 61 tonight, dozens more women are coming forward to sue Yale University nearly a year after a former Yale nurse was sentenced for tampering with fentanyl vials at a fertility clinic. The lawsuit claims that patients went through excruciating pain during the procedures, thinking that they were getting fentanyl for the pain, but only receiving saline. Fox 61's Alicia Machado spoke with one patient about her horrifying experience. It was a lifelong dream of mine to be a mother. Before undergoing treatment for breast cancer, Milford resident Laura Zarr went to Yale's Reproductive Endocrinology and Infertility Clinic, also known as REI Clinic. She prepared herself for the fertility preservation process. But what she says happened at her first egg retrieval was anything but what she expected. I was expecting to get a what they called an, an IV cocktail that would put me in a twilight state so that I'd be relaxed sleepy and you know wouldn't feel any pain but I was fully alert and felt everything going through it um, and I did express that to them I was thrusting my hips and they just said hold still the medicine's working they're putting a huge needle into your body Zar says her second retrieval a couple weeks later was also extremely painful and she is not alone. Law firm Koskoff, Koskoff and Beter says they're now representing 59 women who are patients at REI Clinic. The lawsuit claims patients had fentanyl used to manage pain switched out for saline by a nurse during procedures related to egg retrieval and miscarriages. Clients put this high level of trust into their providers to do what's appropriate. And um, unfortunately, they really breached that trust. Last year, former Yale nurse Donna Monticone pleaded guilty to stealing fentanyl intended for fertility patients and was sentenced to serve four weekends of incarceration, three years of supervised release, and three months of home confinement. The lawsuit claims Monticone stole hundreds of vials of fentanyl over five months in 2020, which led to dozens of patients experiencing excruciating pain during IVF procedures. Yale needs to you know, take accountability for what occurred. This never should have happened to me or any of the other women. Make sure somebody is listening to you and don't doubt yourself. Don't question yourself because if you are feeling pain, you, it's happening. The case is in litigation seeking compensation for the plaintiffs. One IVF cycle typically costs between fifteen to $30,000, according to court documents. Reporting for Fox 61 News, I'm Alicia Machado.